Hi guys, I'm Kevin. Hello, I'm Sarah. And we are Veggie Boys. Right then, folks, welcome back to another week of Veggie Boys on YouTube. So, in continuing with the theme where we asked a couple of weeks back about what you guys want to see from us, um, we're going to grant another viewer a request today and do a lovely stir fry. Now, all of our viewers, we love you all, but some of them we love slightly more than others, and this one is for a lady called Zoe, who happens, in fact, to be Sarah's mother. Hi, Mum. So, with Mother's Day around the corner, we thought, yeah, Zoe's hit the nail on the head with a nice stir fry for after work, uh, and Sarah is going to talk us through it now. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to use one of our favourite ingredients as well, which is mushrooms. Uh, we're going to make a lovely mushroom teriyaki noodle stir fry loaded with lots of shallots, garlic, ginger, chilli um, and some exotic mushrooms too. Uh, Kevin's going to show us how to make some quick pickled chillies and whilst those are pickling, we're going to get cracking with the stir fry. Good, let's do it. Okay, these noodles are pretty much ready to serve up now. Uh, whilst I'm doing that, Kevin, do you mind uh, explaining to everyone uh, about the mushrooms that we're using here? Sure. So the star of the show here, guys, really, uh, are these fellas, King Oyster Mushrooms, which uh, they used to be quite hard to get in this country, but they're, they're starting to pop up in supermarkets and stuff. They can be a little bit expensive, but they're well worth the money because they're, they give a really sort of meaty texture, loads of umami flavor, and again, there's quite a lot of stuff you can do with them. So what Sarah's done here is basically chop up the stalk, as you'll have seen, and cooked it, but if you look at these, they look a little bit like scallops. Um, 
So an alternative here would be kind of lemon juice, nori, give it some sort of fishy flavors, um, and, and that's another alternative use for it, but really good, in, especially in Asian dishes. Yeah, lovely. Um, it's, it's worth noting, though, that if you're really not a fan of mushrooms, uh, this dish works perfectly fine with any other vegetables that you like. Um, yeah, very good. I mean, the proof is in the tasting, isn't it? So, Absolutely, um, bring it on. Should we, should we get stuck in? Yeah. I've got a feeling that this is going to be spicy, so I'm a little bit scared. It smells spicy, I'm not going to lie, there's like spice in the air. Yeah, uh, but uh, as we always say, if you don't like spice, leave the chilies out or, or do a little bit less, uh, it's not a problem, it shouldn't, shouldn't really affect it. Um, so, give, give us the verdict. It's, it's a good face, it's a good face. <laughs> yeah, the pickled chilies are not for kids, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Have they got you there? <laughs> Well, that's a good old slurp. It's lovely. There's, uh, you can taste the ginger. There's a bit of sweetness. Loads of garlic. Mm. Just full of good flavours, really. And the mushroom, as I say, lovely texture. I'm going yeah. in for another go. I hope you don't mind. something a bit different, isn't it? It you is need all kind of different mushrooms. So you could put tofu in there. Tofu, I don't know how much I love tofu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not, it's not dissimilar to tofu, to be fair, right. in terms of texture. But success. There we go. Great success. 10 out of 10, Chef. Thank you. Well, there we go, folks. Thanks for watching. I think the only guarantee we can make with that dish is there won't be much room left for dessert after. Hey. But uh, yeah, we'd love to know how you get on. So have a crack at it and give us a shout. Absolutely. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, tag us in your creations and keep letting us know what you want to see next. Uh, we love hearing from you. But until then, thank you. See you next time.